Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian and this is Kingdom Sense. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from a rack store. This is going to be a fragrance that you could get off Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all those type of fragrance, all those type of uh, stores. This fragrance is from the Banana Republic icon line. Now, uh, Banana Republic has surprised me a lot because, you know, you think of you know, Banana Republic, it's a store, you know, people, you don't really think of quality. You don't think of like a, a good type of fragrance when it comes to that. Uh, maybe cheap smelling, maybe synthetic, maybe it smells uh, just gen generic, but I could tell the Banana Republic went out of their way to try to uh, come up with really interesting and, and great quality fragrances for a good price. So I did, yeah, I did get the Banana Republic, what's it called? The Banana Republic Vintage, 78 Vintage Green. That one is insanely good. I love that fragrance. It's such a good fig and green fig fragrance. It, it smells really good. And um, I saw this one and you know, you're getting, you know, TJ Maxx, you're getting it like $20. So I, I, I picked this one up and I want to do a first impressions with you guys right now. So the fragrance that I'm going to be taking a look at today is called Cypress Cedar. That's as good as it's going to look. All right. So uh, let me just try to do this real quick. I don't want to be all in your ear taking out this cellophane. All right, so here we go. All right, Cypress Cedar. It is, it is a um, eau de parfum concentration. You have like 75 milliliters in here. If you haven't seen these type of boxes, uh, this is what all the Icon, Banana Republic Icon line boxes come in. It, I mean, the fragrances come in. It is a nice, clean black box. It has the ingredients on the back. You have the uh, no, nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top. It's just clean. And then it's like you have this little tab right here and then it slides off like that. And there's the fragrance. So nice, nice presentation. I mean, when it comes to the quality that you're getting for the price is insane, honestly, for $20. Um, and here we go. You have a nice, clean looking bottle. It has a uh, Cypress Cedar on the front, Banana Republic. The cap is a metal and plastic cap, very heavy. Um, it's a mixture of metal and plastic, uh, very thick glass. I mean, you could tell, like you could see like where the glass starts and everything like that. Very good quality uh, bottles. Um, so let's check out the fragrance, see what we're dealing with. So here is the atomizer. Uh, from what I remember, the atomizers are actually really good too. Yeah. Well, it's it's pretty good. It's it's like short, long sprays. Not a very wide mist. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so. What am I getting out of this? It's peppery. In the top, in the beginning, the first thing I smell is like a, like a, like a rindy, bitter orange with pepper. And it reminds me so much of Terre d'Hermes. It does. It reminds me so much of Terre d'Hermes. Not as the vetiver is not as strong as it is in Terre d'Hermes. In the in the opening in the anyway. Oh man, that wow. Okay, I like this. Hmm, that's that smells good. Okay, let's look up the notes here uh, on Fragrantica. So, if you don't like these notes breakdowns, I just like to see what's in there. What am I smelling? Kind of get uh, an idea. Yeah, it's manly, peppery. It's green, slightly green, but it's woody. 
Okay. So you have bitter orange, mint, and pink pepper in the top. You have cedar rhubarb, which is interesting, and black pepper in the mid. That's where all that pepperiness is coming from. And then on the base, you have cypress, vetiver, moss, patchouli, and musk. Yeah, that's if you're looking at that note breakdown, it is exactly what you're getting. You do have a, a very interesting smell of rhubarb here, which is different, but not in a bad way. It smells really good. It is manly. It is a it's really good springtime fragrance. I think this is a very good springtime fragrance. I think that it's green enough with the cypress and the mint that is green enough. And then you have like the bitter orange. So it's not going to be like a juicy, sweet orange uh, scent. It's going to be more of like the rindy kind of like the the peel of an orange. Like when you're like, let's say you're peeling or you're zesting an orange that that aroma that comes out is kind of bitter. That is the scent that you're getting from here. And then you have pepperiness, you have the woodiness from the cedar and you have vetiver. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it, it smells a lot like Terre d'Hermes. It smells so much like Terre d'Hermes. I actually. Let me check it, because right here in front of me, coincidentally, I have a little travel size decant of uh, Terre d'Hermes Autre Fraiche. And I want to see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Cypress cedar is a little peppery, more peppery than this one. Now the, the ultra fresh is supposed to be a more wearable summery easier to wear Terre d'Hermes and the Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum is. So it's a, it's a little lighter. The orange in here is not as bitter as the one in here. So I would say that this is more like Terre d'Hermes EDT than the Autre Fraiche. But in both, you have just really nice, like orangey greenness. This one has the rhubarb, which is a little bit different. It gives it like a, a little bit of personality. I like, I like this a lot, man. And the fact that you could get this for 20 bucks, I, I would definitely recommend this for sure. I would recommend this banana Republic seed Cypress cedar. I would give this a, a solid 7.8 out of 10. And that's only because I haven't worn it. It's the first time me smelling it. I don't know what the longevity, what the performance is. I hear that when it comes to these icon uh, fragrances, they smell really good, but they don't last too, too long. That is my, um, that is my one issue with the 78 vintage green one that it doesn't, doesn't last very long, but it smells so good and it's so clean and like easy to wear. Like from the beginning, it smells good and there's no alcohol tinge or anything like that. So I would just respray it, call it a day. I don't even care. Um, but yeah, this is a great fragrance. If you are looking for a good springtime fragrance and you like that, the idea of having that bitter orange smell with the cypress and the woods and everything like that. Yeah, this is a very gentlemanly uh, springtime fragrance. I don't think that uh, a young kid, maybe in high school or maybe in, in college would appreciate this. I think that you could appreciate it if that's your style, but a lot of, a lot of guy a lot of guys that that age, they're looking for mass appealing, like sweet fragrances, like, you know, Dior Sauvage and, and uh, YSLY and all those, all those fragrances. This is not like this. This is a springtime fragrance. It's more mature. It's classier. It is a grown man's springtime fragrance. And I appreciate it for what it is. It smells really, really good. So yeah, check that out whenever you get a chance. 
thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate you uh please consider subscribing to the channel leave a like on the video which helps me out so much and also comment down below let me know what is your main springtime fragrance i would love to see it in the comments i try to reply to everyone that comments on my videos um but thank you guys again i love you guys to death god bless and take care